Hello, you're watching KC News. Today, Serdar Giritli with you in the studio. Data is transforming the world. In the 21st century, every company is a data company. But the flow of data is restricted by the big companies. Dovo promises to enable seamless transaction of mobility data between consumers and mobility services and to build a first circular economy. The Dovo claims it will revolutionize the flow and value of data across the transport ecosystem. Today we are interviewing Irfan Watkins, CEO and founder of the Dovo project, which is having its ICO on 3rd of October 2017. Hello, nice to have you here. Hey, thank you for inviting me. So we are beginning with our traditional question. Can you tell a little bit about the Dovo project? How the idea to make such project was born? Yeah, sure. So uh, we took a look at the whole um, sort of explosion in the transport uh, economy and the mobility economy. You know, the services such as Uber and Lyft, car sharing, and a whole range of different sort of uh, autonomous cars, whole range of sort of things that are happening in that sector. And, you know, that whole sector is powered by data, as is most of the world right now. Um, so how do you liberate that data globally, uh, remove friction from access to that data and leverage the blockchain to build trust and then leverage a new token really so that you can get rewarded for that data transfer globally without having to go through currency exchanges and normal fiat currencies. So that was the sort of idea that we, uh, that we looked at and the problem that we're looking at solving is frictionless borderless transfer of value across the whole transport sector. May I ask, why did you choose the transportation sector for your project? Because, well, I think it's, you know, what we've got is a sector that is moving very rapidly and moving away from traditional forms of data structures. So if you take an example of any car company, they're used to work in in very sort of walled gardens, very closed environments in creating vehicles. You know, the idea of sharing in information is not something that they're culturally comfortable with. But then you look at the sort of way that connected car would be generating and then the how that data can be used in all sorts of different applications. Then you've got to sort of really take a look at a, at a shift in mentality as to how you liberate that data in a trusted form to allow thousands or tens of thousands of developers and services to utilize that data. So, you know, we have a fast moving environment. You've got huge change in a very old sort of, you know, economy. And, and really that's where we see the opportunity for leveraging, you know, blockchain, smart contracts and uh, Adobe token to take advantage of that. I see. Can you give some examples for our viewers? How would that work on practice? Yeah, so there are a few. So I'll start with the insurance market. So insuring a car, for example. Right now, you'd pay an annual insurance and you'd pay your insurance company for that, uh, for that product. If you take a look going forward where you have smart, connected cars, then you can pay for the insurance based on the risk. In other words, if there's only one driver uh, and nobody else in the car, then you only pay for that. If there's children sat on the back seat, then obviously that's a slightly different risk and you pay for that. So by utilizing data, utilizing smart contracts and utilizing a Dovu token, then you can pay for you know what you're actually using rather than paying an annual contract, which is a very old fashioned way of paying for risk when it comes to car transport. Another example would be, again, car related. If you're in a car and you're traveling uh, a distance, then the data that you're giving off as an individual, you know, is is varied. And that data could be, you know, what's the traffic like on the road? Uh, right now you're given that data for free. The car itself is given off data. So if you put your windscreen wipers on on your car, then uh, it's raining. What's the road surface like? Is it uh, bumpy? Is it flat? What's the brake? Are you, uh, do you need your brakes replaced? There's a huge amount of data that you're giving off on that journey. And that data has value and actually you can earn for the miles that you travel. So um, you could travel a long distance and actually theoretically the data could be paying for your transport. So I will be paid for my driving car, is it right? 
or in other words, how can I earn double tokens? Yeah, exactly. How can I spend them afterwards? Well, again, you know, like, uh, so you can earn the tokens uh, based on the value that you're offering to, to the community and to whoever wishes to reward in you for that value in the tokens. You can then use those tokens within our economy to pay for other transport related services, such as uh, an aeroplane journey or going on a train or a boat or, or whatever you wish to, London Underground or New York Subway. So you earn tokens for your movement. You can use those tokens to pay for other transport related services. As you know, the DOE platform consists of the cave components, the DOE protocol, the DOE token, and the DOE API marketplace. Yeah. Can you give a more detailed description? Yeah, so if we take a look at the protocol first, what we're trying to create and what we're, what we're building is a, is a protocol which will enable companies to build decentralized apps on top of and services, you know, leveraging our protocol, leveraging our token in order to sort of accelerate their offering to, um, to their own community. The, um, the first one of these decentralized um, apps is going to be API Marketplace, which really takes data, converts to an API and makes that API available in a very um, usable form to our community because really, you know, to get um, data delivered efficiently, um, reliably and simply, then you need an API. And it would be great what we're building is one central place to go to, to find all transport related APIs. And then those APIs will be, you know, paid for via the Dovu token. And who is able to stand for data owners and data providers? So the data providers uh, will be a mix of proprietary data through car companies such as uh, Jaguar Land Rover, through to more open source data such as Maps, and a whole mix of different APIs, different data sources to enable uh, service providers and developers to mix and match different API sources in order to deliver the services that they want. So it'll grow over a period of time. And of course, our community will be able to contribute by adding their own APIs and their own data sources to that marketplace. So it's a community project, but obviously uh, led by our relationships that we already have in the transport sector. To make that project alive, you need to establish connections in the transport sector. Have you already managed to achieve something in this matter? We do, yeah. You know, have a, a strategic investor in our company who are Jaguar Land Rover, one of the largest car companies in the, in the world. And, uh, and that gives us, you know, access really through to that uh, transport uh, community. That all sound very promising. Why did you choose to build your platform on a blockchain technology and in particular Ethereum network to make open data sharing ecosystem? Yeah, so, uh, well, we chose Ethereum because the key to it really is the ability to leverage smart contracts. So blockchain builds the trust, of course, and, uh, and the Ethereum uh, platform, when you add the smart contract element to it, creates the contract relative to the data uh, that's going to be provided. So in order to move, you know, established businesses into the blockchain environment, uh, the technology on its own, just as a blockchain, isn't enough. You know, you really need to, uh, the smart contract, I think, is the killer app that uh, that will help, you know, move proprietary data into that space. And I think that the, the way that the smart contracts uh, will evolve over a period of time will enable us to create some really innovative sort of solutions where, you know, the consumer data is protected as well as the, uh, the corporate data and that's going to be protected as well through the use of smart, smart contracts. Please tell us how your team came together and from which areas? Yeah, so uh, well, my background is I, I, I'm an entrepreneur who uh, I've built uh, uh, and scaled technology companies previously. And so we were able very quickly to pull together, uh, you know, the network of relationships that I've built up from previous, uh, from previous projects in order to get working very quickly on this one. So there's a wide range of skills within the team, ranging from you know, blockchain developers, uh, front-end developers, API developers, you know, through to you know, some of the founders uh, who are, um, Christina Milliver is a co-founder who's a, a lawyer. So what's really important is the smart contract element and the legal aspect. 
So I don't believe it's correct just to build a company based on uh, developers. You really need a wide range of experience. You need expertise in business building and scaling. You need the legals and the operational covered. And of course, you need the technology covered as well. And I think uh, with the team that we've got, uh, we have all of those in place. And again, that's been reinforced really by the strategic uh, investors and the structure of the business as we, as, we, as we currently have it. Your company, Zawu, is planning to token sale on 3rd of October. What are your expectations for that? Yes, yeah, so we uh, launch on the 3rd of October. We are offering 300 million sort of tokens to the market. And right now, the, the interest and the feedback has been fantastic. The, the coverage that we get in has been, uh, has been very strong ranging from, and I think that the token distribution through to our community will be, uh, will be very positive. It was so nice to talk to you, Mr. Watkins. We are ready to participate in the development of your project, Make It A Video. Would you like to have another interview with us after the Dovuz ICO? Yeah, we'd love to. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much for the interview. All the best to your ICO and see you next time. Thank you. Thanks, bye.